hello Karen, a very short video to try and answer a few of your questions. You asked me about the bulkhead, I'm trying to video this in the dark, but this is the bulkhead we we're talking about, the horse faces this bulkhead. Can you see the steps that we have here? There's another one there. So if you wanted to tie the hay net up, sorry this box is dirty, it's used two or three times a day. You walk towards the steps, agile as a cat as I am, you just reach there and you can do the hay nets. So you just climb up the steps and hold on to this handle here. Um, the hatch, that's the hatch through from the horses through to the living area. And if you wanted to, <coughs> if you wanted to open it, you could stand in the living area, open the hatch, say hello to the horses. You could even get through there if you wanted to. Even I can. Um, this particular, you asked about <coughs> the extra long. This box, I don't know if you can see this, this box is extra long. Let's see if I can zoom out just a second. No, that's the best I can do. Probably the light is too bad. But this box is extra long and it has a seat that comes all the way around. And it gives 16 inches more room. This is what it looks like from the side. <coughs> so you can judge it. There you are. The thing you should be looking at now is how much behind the back wheels this box sticks out. And the standard length, which is what I quoted you on, it sticks out 16 inches less which it sticks out approximately to the end of the rear cupboard, the rear locker. You still have all the lockers in the other one. There's no, not particularly much, there's a little more room in the lockers in this extra long. The downsides are, <coughs> it should cost more money, but we could discuss that. It should cost a thousand pounds more for the extra long. Uh, it's about 50 kilograms heavier, which reduces your payload. And it's a little um, longer when you're parking it in Tesco's car park or wherever you shop. Um, this, all the boxes that we, you and I have discussed, have the window in. Can you see that window with the angle on it behind the door? That signifies that the, that the box has the capability of having the bench seat in the rear which falls up into a bed. Now you have been quoted that. This horse box we're looking at is built on the long wheelbase Renault Master chassis. So if you think of the three models that confused you, there's the 35X which you should take out of your mind, that's an economy model that is um, doesn't have the extra seating. It only has seating for three, whereas this has seating for five. Um, the other two models are the XS, which is the one I've quoted you on, which has all the extras on it, but it isn't extra long. And this one is the XL, and this means it is 16 inches longer at the back. Now that extra length is not in the cab, and it's not in the horse area. It is purely in the rear living area you get the extra length. Um, you did ask me about tie rings, and there are, of course, tie rings here, which you're quoted for, stainless steel tie rings. There are two on this side, and there are none on the other side. The difficulty, I'll just walk around the other side, if you'll bear with me. <clears throat> The difficulty with putting tire rings here is that there is no difficulty putting tire rings here. It's just that, gosh, these. Um, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so the difficulty with putting tire rings here is that if you were to tie your horse up, you'd really have to shut the ramp and keep your big tack locker closed. 
Um, if you didn't, the horse would either catch its head on the tack locker or would be catching its legs or walking up the ramp. So um, uh, we could fit just here. We could fit a tiring there, which may be of use to you when the ramp is up, and that's not a problem. Now, <clears throat> you did discuss with me in your email that you thought a head divider would be a good thing. We make head dividers and they're a standard product to us. They run, they don't go along with the petition, which is this way, they don't do that. They run from here and up here and across and down like an anti-weave bar. So the horse's head is through this area and through this area here. Now, there's been a lady that we've just sold a box to, Jackie Matheson, who's a very, very competent uh, horse lady. She has stallions. And what she said was she preferred not to have the headboard here because it took away from the airy feel for the horses. So what she's had done is in this position here, do you know where I am? Just under the window. She's had a tie ring here. And she's had a tie ring on the other side. And when she carries two stallions, she ties them to those, which enable her to prevent the stallion. Whilst giving the stallions enough room to move their heads and to eat the hay nets, they can't move their noses towards each other. And I'm quite impressed with it, really, to be quite honest. This box, which is one of my wife's horse boxes, is going to have those fitted tomorrow. So um, I think that's going to be something we do in the future. Um, it's also, of course, for a headboard there is a cost. For those extra tie rings there would be no cost. We would just do those for you uh, in with the price. That may be a better solution. Hope some of that makes sense to you. I will send you an email and we'll send you this video also. Bye.